nobody sort of wants to sock it to your former employer. I mean, it's hard, right? Like, here, you know, I talk to you guys about Fox all the time, but it's a little, you know, you want to be tasteful. You don't want to totally, you know, go for the jugular. But, you know, I think if you read between the lines, what he's saying is the company's like messed up, period. Like there are some management challenges there. You heard him talk about sort of, you know, the aisles and how much stuff is there and the BOGOs. I didn't know what the BOGO was. Did you guys know what a BOGO was? Buy one, get one free. <laughs> I had to write it down. So like, I'm not steeped enough in retail that I know what the BOGO is. Anyway, he said, like, we never used to do that at Target, right? So now that they're filled with BOGOs, they've got all this junk in the aisles. Part of the Pride stuff actually was to throw it all in the aisles. So the kind of clean look that Target used to have, and that's why people wanted to shop there. It was kind of, you know, upscale, Target, if you would. Some of that's lost, especially with the lines, et cetera. And then the inventory, you know, he mentioned inventory was an issue. Uh, you heard me say that, you know, he used to have a meeting with everybody for inventory at uh, 7 a.m. every Tuesday morning, just constantly keep tabs on that. And their inventories are all messed up. They have lots of one thing, not enough of another. So the store is going downhill. 